Okay, here we are. First day back in Outback Australia. Sundown. Just arrived at camp. It's absolutely fantastic. Another beautiful clear day. Just going to pump out a nice little canvas and uh, palette knives and oil paint. Right, let's get into it. Very simple subject. It's all about light, of course. Right, let's go. Okay. Righty, I hadn't even thought about this. Let's get into it. All I've been doing is just thinking about setting up camp. So, this could be fun. Let's put a few darks in first, shall we? Alizarin Crimson. Viridian Green creates a beautiful dark. Just to get a few dark tones in. A bit more clean red in that one. just want to get a few dark tones in first and then I'll work with some lights. Bear with me. She's making a bit of a rickety sound so I thought I'd just do that. Okay. Burnt Sienna. Yellow Ochre. Alizarin, yellow ochre, burnt sienna. Just trying to get a dark foreground shadow tone, the stuff that we're standing in at the moment. Just trying to put some of that in. Which is pretty much the whole foreground, as you can see. Get that in as quickly as you can, because time is a wasting when you're doing this stuff. All right, now, one of those blues, right, let's stick a few of those blues in with magenta, white, viridian green. I'm using a mixture of cobalt blue, viridian green and magenta to create a kind of neutrally bluish, blue green, blue magenta, like it's kind of right in the middle. Sometimes I'll vary it each way. So I'm just sticking a few shadows on the hills a bit weird at the moment but bear with me it's all gonna happen I hope <laughs> this is crazy stuff isn't it you never know what you're gonna get you never know let's just go with it eh to the edge of the creek bed a few salt bushes who knows whatever and uh yeah it's going all right Obviously got to quickly establish a sky, because there is a sky there, which I haven't done yet. Like I said, time's a wasting, so we better get into it. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna. Plenty of those warm tones with that sunsetting sky. Let's put that in first. There we go. Get it in next to that dark green, or whatever we do, don't touch that dark green, it will just mess up the whole thing for now. Okay, a bit more yellow ochre and white. There we go. It's good fun, isn't it? It's good fun to be back in the game, that's what I say, back in the game. Here we go, look at that. Right, that's a very dark tone I've created, but... If you key everything down a bit, you can really create highlights, so it's quite good to go really low key, and then you can pump in those highlights. So now I've got cobalt blue mixed with that yellow ochre burnt sienna mix. That's a little bit too green, I think. Needs a bit more blue in it. Blue and white. Keep the same tone with the white and the blue. Just get rid of some of the green by putting just more straight cobalt blue. Better. Okay. Blue, white. Blue and white, just a little bit darker but not too much darker, just a bit as it goes up into the top. 
just working on a small canvas today. Just a bit of a fleeting moment. Now with a clean knife, what have we got? With a clean knife, every time clean the knife, just pull up to blend some of that, those tones. Wipe it clean every time. I'll just drop that in the bin. Grab another bit of towel. With the palette knife technique, it's all about, and these warm and cool contrasts, it's all about keeping everything very clean. So I'm wiping it each time pulling up wipe the knife absolutely clean because we don't want any uh, optional extras of course Let's just go a little bit more of that yellow oak in this corner here I'm missing it a little bit there we go look at that and just there right let's get that hill in let's go high key Let's go a bit of cad red and cad yellow, mix up a nice orange. Go super high key. I love those warm and cool contrasts. Now you're not quite seeing the sky, it's all bleached out. That just happens sometimes with all these camera angles. I'll try and take a video of it in a minute if I get this done in time. Hopefully I do. <laughs> right. Too dark, so I'll add a bit more white. You just got to feel it as you go. If you haven't got time to pre-mix the colours with a fleeting moment. You've got to, you've got to mix them right in, here and now. So I'm just going to stick those warm tones in. This coming here, better that going there. Forgive me if I stop talking there for a minute. I did not know what I was thinking. I should be keeping on talking, should not. Right, let's do a let's do a voiceover. Okay, so just drop a few highlights in. Now that shadow's creeping up. Of course it's always creeping. Needs more green than that. Keeps on changing. Burnt sienna, pretty in green. The shadows seem to go a really pale colour this time of day. Keep popping those shadows in. It doesn't matter if you go too much shadows, you can always put the light back over it. It's best to work. It's best to work light over dark, so. Right, bin. This is good fun, isn't it? This is good fun. You never know what you're going to get. There's no time to even think about it. Clean up that edge. Drop a highlight in there. Drop one that way. Stem those gum trees on. Oops, here we go, here we go. Game on. Another monkey patch. <laughs> oh no. I'll take some off. Here's the pallet knife, you can drag it off. Starting to die, so it's time to get going. Let's stop mucking around. A few smears. Right, hang on. What have we got here? Yes, I've almost used up all my beautiful bright yellow. Oh, yeah. Now I'll stick some here. Okay. Now quickly mix up. Some burnt sienna, 
yellow ochre. Put it in green. There's a twang of that. Twang, see? <laughs> there is such thing as a twang. I knew there was. Just to hit the foliage here on the side. Got to get rid of some of those whites. It's almost gone, the light's almost gone. I'll stand back and have a look. See, that's how quickly it changes. One minute and I'm all like, yeah, this is going to be great. Next minute, bang, the light's gone. Clean the knife. Half full fruit. What am I going to do here? Let's have a look. Let's make it up as we go, eh? We'll go this way. One more time because it didn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy stuff. Crazy technique. Just lightly pull the sky back into that to soften it. I wish I had some more of that yellow. Oh. Okay, so he needs one more accent. He needs a focal point, a sting basically. So white, cad, yellow. A more cad yellow, red. Just to really pump the accent. Blues and shadow tones again with magentas. These warm and cool contrasts are just a fantastic thing about painting on location. In a fleeting moment, you get those warm and cools, and it's great. I need a bigger knife. That knife is too little. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That's better. Now we can get into it. A bit more red. Yellow. That's a bit pull it through. Add some light, take it out, get a really abstracted realism. Well, I won't do any more because the sun's gone, but that's pretty much how quickly it all happens, so you've just got to be flat stick. I might just soften a little bit of foreground here to make it all lovely. Pull through with a knife. Just to do a bit of softening as I go. Don't want to overdo it. I don't want to lose the original impression. That'll do it. All right, okay. No worries, thank you. I'll see you later.